So DJI just dropped a bomb. That's the DJI Osmo Pocket. Whoo! I cannot wait to receive my box. I don't have the bomb right now, so I can show that to you by next week because it's reaching next week to me. So I've been seeing a lot of people doing comparison videos between this DJ Osmo Pocket and the GoPro Black 7. I guess this comparison is absolutely useless or makes no sense because both of the products are completely different animal. Both of their own space, both of them have got their own requirements. If you know your own requirements, you're going to need it. If you ask me, I absolutely need both and I'm going to get it, of course. So in this video, I'm going to tell you 10 simple things which you need to know because I see a lot of people who are confused online about the product. And yeah, people have been only telling about you the good things about this DJ Osmo Picket because when you are getting stuff for free, it absolutely becomes impossible to be really honest. First, the field of view. GoPro is hugely wide. The field of view is something like 170 degrees while the Osmo Pocket is like 80 degrees. For the Osmo Pocket, the lens equivalent is somewhere around 25 millimeter lens. And for the GoPro, it's like a huge fisheye ultra wide lens. So, you know, you are going to need a ultra wide or a tight shot. So yeah, Osmo Pocket is basically for the tight, like 25 millimeters. It's kind of a nice cinematic focal length and for the GoPro, it's huge. For the action shots, GoPro it is. Second, I have been seeing a lot of videos and I have been trying to follow up with the audio output for the Osmo Pocket. As per the reviews and the specs what I see, the Osmo Pocket audio is not that great for as compared to the GoPro 7. I mean for the, I have the GoPro 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the 7 audio is absolutely stellar. I have the 6, I have the 5 right now as well, right here lying somewhere in the studio but their audio are absolutely crap and it's almost the same as Osmo Pocket but for, for the 7 the audio is really really great. For the Osmo Pocket you are going to need an external mic for sure but yeah it's going to add more bulky stuff or mounts to the pocket because which is like really tiny. About the size GoPro is somewhere like this size. I can show that to you. This is the GoPro 7 and pocket is somewhere around this size but again this is waterproof. GoPro 7 is completely waterproof. You don't need any other extra mounts for this while for the Osmo pocket you are going to need another housing for it to make it waterproof. So again yeah you have to carry more stuff if you are going to need a Osmo pocket on the water. GoPro underwater this absolutely works great. The reason why I always use the GoPro and always keep on getting any new GoPro which comes is the mounting ecosystem. It's so huge. I have a huge bag with more than I guess 40 mounts. Almost every kind of shot I need I can get with the GoPro. It's just so versatile. And the mounting ecosystem is so huge you can get a mount for any kind of shot you need. For the Osmo Pocket, there are just few like 5 or 6 mounts. I always hope DJI would make something, some product which would be backward compatible with the GoPro mount because GoPro has never patented the mounting ecosystem. So they could have surely made something which is compatible with the GoPro mounts but they did not. DJI is going to release their own set of mounts and I don't want to invest on extra mounts again. So maybe I will just get the Osmo for my vlogging and stuff where I cannot take the GoPro and that is it. That is going to work for sure, yeah. Now the most important point, the image quality. GoPro 7 and Osmo Pocket both have the same sensor. That is the 1 by 2.3 inch of sensor that is very very tiny sensor and yeah you do not have to expect a lot from this sensor in low light or night conditions but for the GoPro it does just 78 bitrate of data for the Osmo Pocket it does 100 megabits of data for the 4k file so that is pretty neat so basically you can expect good image quality from the Osmo Pocket in the night conditions I'm going to do more videos and going to show you samples once my Osmo Pocket box reaches but for now the, for the image quality, Osmo Pocket wins because it does 100 megabits of data for the same sensor. GoPro does 78 Mbps. So basically you are not going to get a lot of data to work with if you are using the GoPro in low light. But with the Osmo Pocket, you still have got a bit more profit. 
about the aperture the osmo pocket is f by 2 and for the gopro it's f by 2.8 so basically in osmo pocket you are going to see good low light performance because the aperture opens more bigger than the f2.8 aperture of that is of gopro 7 so yeah for the night conditions and low light osmo pocket is going to win here the main reason why I am getting the Osmo Pocket is the distortion free footages. So GoPro, you know, it has always been super wide, ultra wide and when anything that is ultra wide, you are going to see the distortion, the fisheye effect. So we all know GoPro about for the fisheye effect and the distortion, but for the Osmo Pocket, it's more like a cinematic lens. 25 millimeters right field of view without any kind of distortion or fish eye you can basically i mean i'm going to use the osmo pocket for a lot of situations where i'm not able to take my huge cameras i'm just going to take those nice gimbal shots nice sliding shots with this small osmo pocket and it's going to do the job another great thing about the osmo pocket is it has got the face tracking it's going to help a lot for the vloggers or people who are doing videos on youtube vimeo Twitch, Facebook, anything, it's going to help them a lot. So for example, if you are like walking, running, anything you are doing with the GoPro, uh, it cannot track your face. It's basically the auto focusing is fast, so you don't get to see it. But for the Osmo Pocket, the AF is nice and the face tracking is absolutely neat. You do anything, it's going to track your face. So the active track and the face track, these two things absolutely make sense to go for a Osmo Pocket. And the reason why I'm getting the Osmo Pocket is it's a camera on a gimbal while the GoPro is just the camera. So for example, if you're running through the forest or doing any kind of really action shot, the, whenever you are like running through the like stones, rocks, mountains, the GoPro is still going to shake and your footage are going to be, yeah, you are going to see a lot of shake. But for the Osmo Pocket, no matter what kind of shake you are traveling to or running or driving into, you are going to get sick free footage because the it's just a small camera on a gimbal so anything you do the camera is still going to stay stable so for the stable shots for the really action shots of course not the bike videos or car videos osmo pocket is going to do the job another point where the osmo pocket wins is it has the inbuilt motion time lapse and the panorama feature so basically you can just Put it on, set the intervals, set the time lapse, set the motion lapse, sit tight, have fun, stop it and you are done. It has already done its job. But for the GoPro, you are going to need another module for the panorama, another module for the motion lapse. So that's extra stuff. But yeah, so basically what I mean to say is both of those products are completely different. GoPro is basically a dedicated action camera while the Osmo Pocket is more of a small cinematic camera in your pocket or a camera on a gimbal which can do almost everything what you need except the action thing so i'm going to get this osmo pocket just for that reason so gopro is always going to be with me for all kind of action shots what i'm doing and osmo pocket is going to handle the shots for the areas where i'm not able to take my big cameras so every product has got its own space don't just keep on doing a lot of comparison videos which is absolutely makes no sense and confusing the people about the GoPro versus Osmo Pocket where they start thinking whether they need to go for the GoPro 7 or Osmo Pocket. For me, and if I have to suggest you, if you really know your own requirements, why you need it, if you are someone who is shooting a lot of daylight and don't want to take your camera all the time, Osmo Pocket is absolutely a must have gadget in your pocket is so tiny i just cannot wait for the box to reach to me so that should be it guys once i get my osmo pocket i'm going to do more videos about it detailed video i'm going to do a video about if osmo pocket is going to help for motor vlogging if it's going to help for car videos bike videos if it's going to help for a lot of action shots or not so a lot of videos coming in just make sure you are subscribed to the channel and if this is your first time to the channel consider subscribing i do like three videos every week so yeah consider subscribing and hit that bell icon 
to make sure you are not missing out on any of my future videos. So if you have got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated. I will see you in my next video.